Hey Capricorn, welcome to your first half of September reading. So glad to be here. I am bringing you a general reading for the collective of Capricorn Sun and Rising. May not resonate with everyone, just take what speaks to you, leave the rest. You can always be a cross watcher and watch the Sun Arising readings for your divine counterpart. So, um, also an open invitation, Capricorn, in case you missed it, to join us in the Priestess Lounge. There is a link that takes you to the private Facebook group associated with this channel. Um, it's not a tarot group, but it is just a bunch of beautiful energy um gorgeous souls we're walking the spiritual path together so we'd love to have some more capricorn energy over there click the link it takes you to the group page and then you do have to answer two questions if you don't answer them i'll assume you're really not interested okay and then the last announcement we're in the run-up to the end of the promotional period for the monthly subscriptions for the extendeds those links are also below capricorn you may just want to click on the earth uh, monthly link just to read about what what it's what it entails okay i don't want to take up too much time here but it is a monthly subscription and the promotional offer is for $11 a month which is crazy so um, that ends on the 11th which is my birthday so I thought I would make sure you had heard that announcement and let's see I am pulling two cards from wisdom of the Oracle one for divine masculine one for divine feminine always know feel free to flip the energies around don't get stuck on the labels the storyline is most important okay Oh, that's so lovely. Oh my gosh, Capricorn already. I want to cry. Okay, masculine gets card 22. That's an angel number, sacred number, master number. We don't reduce it. Blessed. Isn't that sweet? Blessed. I, like say no more, right? Um, a good opportunity for actually more of a reminder to the masculine to be very grateful for what you have and to feel the protection of your ancestors and the angels and the ascended masters who you know you've got blessings coming in you've got blessings all around you just gotta look okay and feminine gets card 39 new life new life look at that figure stretching to the heavens um drawing almost like the first breath of a new day and a new life. I like it. Card 39, that adds up to 12, which is a three. Co-creative energy here, feminine. Co-creative energy all around a new life. I'm pulling one card just for you, Capricorn, from Sacred Traveler. Denise Lynn's deck, Sacred Traveler. Rapidly becoming one of my favorites. Just something to meditate on, to visualize around, to journal on between readings. You know, I bring two readings per zodiac per month. Pretty much try to upload a reading a day with a couple days off <laughs> here and there. Okay, so let's see what the Sacred Traveler has to say. Finding sanctuary, opening to your spiritual source. Finding sanctuary, opening to your spiritual source, right? Your connection to the divine. It does feel like um, I'm gonna I'm gonna hold this up so you can see. Look at the. I mean, I'm a color person. I like to look at color. Um, color speaks to me. Look at that. Look at the blue. The blues here shifting. And then moving into the purples, I just love the energy of that coloring. Um, very fluid, very spiritual. Purple's a spiritual color, obviously, seventh, sixth and seventh chakra. Um, yeah, finding sanctuary, feeling the blessings, uh, co-creating the new life and opening to your spiritual source, whatever that may be for you. Um, I love that energy for you, Capricorn. Yeah, it was her purple outfit that <laughs> was catching my attention. I'm like, I must have one. Okay, let's get into your connection, dear Capricorn. What is coming through for Capricorn, Sun and Rising in their Twin Flame Soulmate connections? Do tell. Oh, wow. <laughs> and we're off 
to the races, lovers. That's Gemini energy. Wow, in the Six of Cups. Here we go, guys. Mm -hmm. Yes, absolutely open to your spiritual source. There is something being divinely guided here. Six of Cups, notoriously a past life soulmate card. Lovers is soulmates, energy, and union. Making the choice, choosing the union, or sometimes it's about choosing yourself, right? Lovers asks you to make that choice. Oh my goodness. What a beautiful way to start. That's Six of Cups. This could be someone from your past, someone you've known, for, like maybe from childhood or your youth, or a past life soulmate altogether. Like another lifetime. Wow. I love where this is going. Seven of Pentacles in the past for the masculine. Um really nurturing the energy of the seeds have been planted, nurturing it, being patient, allowing it to grow organically. Whoa, nine of pentacles. We got some Virgo energy there in the nine of pentacles. Independence, sing, being single and unattached and yet manifesting everything um, or attracting to you what you desire in this um, card. This is a single person, so it can represent this feminine or it can represent the energy of the masculine in making the choice right who wh what are they choosing um and noting an energy around independence and self-sufficiency like this 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 lady here and the figure in the um look at her just adorned in silk robes the luxurious um fruits and foliage and fauna all around her really likes the lush life i'll tell you that much but knows how to attract it to her I'm saying her because it's a female in the um, card. One note about her. Doesn't attract a stable love life. That's why she's the single person in the tarot. So just FYI. And then look, nine of wands. Um, it's all about perseverance. This card is about pushing through a very challenging period um, when there isn't much left in the tank to give. Um, but not giving up. You want to give up. You want to quit. But you keep pushing crawling forward so that's what's coming up in the future let's see for the masculine let's see what the feminine has to offer what's what energies are coming through here for the feminine temperance sagittarian energy so you guys were really mirrored in the past lots of patience and self-control um trust in the process here some measure of patience with the process <laughs> i'm telling you it's worth the wait right if you're gonna if you're gonna be feeling the experience of the ace of cups right now in this connection look at this dear feminine my goodness love of a lifetime past life soulmate love of a lifetime I want to be you. <laughs> and then in the future, Knight of Wands, someone coming back from the past. And yes, if this masculine returns, if this is a return, right? Because they're going to choose the union with this single feminine. Yeah, it's been a long, arduous trek to get there. But they will arrive. They will arrive. You know, we got to keep in mind the concept of free will. This is a general reading for the collective. So if it doesn't manifest, you have to take into consideration free will of the other. But what I'm seeing is energies of not giving up and someone showing up, returning from the past passionately maybe not even with any notice <laughs> okay and <laughs> maybe unannounced that happens during retrogrades you know lovers gemini energy in the lovers card why is the lovers here for this masculine Yeah. 
Choosing the feminine empress energy. Just beautiful. Look at that. Empress energy. Um, Taurus and Libra in the empress. It is divine feminine. It's representative of unconditional love. Well, there may have been a third party. There may be someone they're trying to choose between. Choosing the feminine or possibly another person. This can be a card of celebration. Um, and, I'm, and I'm just going to say that for a reason, because underneath I have this Knight of Wands again, comes out now on the masculine side. So when it's underneath, it's like a bubbling up underneath, like in the subconscious realm, not fully in conscious awareness, but motivating their behavior. And I almost feel like this does feel like a triumphant return, something worth celebrating. The Three of Cups isn't always a third party energy in a negative sense. It can be, you know, everyone kind of coming together to celebrate the return um, and the choosing of this union with the feminine. So I do want to say that we'll see what unfolds going forward. Yeah, and it represents the end of a burdensome chapter. Boom. I do like that because I think by returning, you get to close out some negative, offload some negative karma. Um, the challenge is real. The challenge is real from the perspective of the masculine as I read the cards. They've been very patient here. Um, maybe not entirely, but... They thought it all through in terms of planning out the next moves, not wanting to act too soon. Yeah, patiently awaiting or, you know, the seeds have been planted for this twin flame soulmate connection to unfold organically. I love this Capricorn and, you know, pentacles are your jam. So I'm, I'm just feeling a really good, solid energy um from this masculine in the past understanding to some degree the potential for life partnership here with this feminine not wanting to rush it yes desire to move to calmer waters there's your peace of mind the balance the stability something that brings a sense of calm and peace with it Seeing this connection is something that would be moving to calmer waters. You know what I mean? And here's this Nine of Pentacles. Why is the Nine of Pentacles here? Yeah. I feel the Nine of Pentacles represents the feminine, that this masculine's present experience in this connection is this is fate. This, this person, this connection is fate. I'm drawn to this person, um, the Wheel of Fortune, more Sagittarian energy, uh, but it's, it's Jupiter, it's ruled by Jupiter, and that is the planet of expansion, good luck, good fortune, and fate, and destiny. Sort of letting go, like trusting destiny, King of Cups. Um, being emotionally available, prepared for this connection on an emotional level, coming in here as the King of Cups, you know, very open-hearted, high vibration love. This is a compassionate person. This is the kind of person who uh, the King of Cups sometimes doesn't have the easiest time expressing their feelings or their emotions. Notice how in this he's kind of floating on a block of ice in the middle of a, an ocean, like a man unto himself, alone at sea. Um, I'm saying a man because it's a king, but you know it can be any gender. It feels a little remote and isolated on an emotional level, but this is someone who holds space for you. This is someone who um, has compassion, who is interested in the connection at heart level so yes i'm sure there's lots of chemistry here i can see that in the knight of wands but the pull is from the heart i love that yeah and they definitely want to offer a message of love so that's what they're working up they haven't given up on it yet they're working up some nerves i think 
to deliver that message. Nine of Wands in the future. Not going to give up. I don't give up easy. I don't have any quit in me. They know they're at a crossroads. The Two of Swords. Nine of Wands with the Two of Swords. The struggle is coming to that decision. Um, and so therefore there could be a third party energy in the mix does not have to be a person. It can be a job. It can be distance. And am I going to move or am I going to stay where I am? It could be, you know, any one of number of things. It can be an ex who won't let go, who doesn't get the memo that can be a third party. So it may be out of this masculine's hands for some of you, for others of you. I think they're just, they haven't given up. They're trying to find the clarity. They realize they're at a crossroads. Um, in terms of this, you know, this connection, they're going to get there. <laughs> they're going to get there. Don't worry. <laughs> Ace of Wands. Every time I see that when there's like conflict in the mix or you know, a struggle, or this is, oh my gosh, this is such a burden. And then I see the ace of wands, I'm like, yeah, I got it. <laughs> it's just so obvious, the message. Yes, lots of chemistry, lots of passionate interest, a divine gift of passion will get one's attention. Please know I'm not laughing at people. I find certain things charming and adorable um, because it's human nature. It's human nature. I've seen it play out in my own experience. Yes, six of cups for the feminine and there's a lot of confusion and emotional overwhelm around it. The six with the seven of cups uh, around this connection, manifesting the connection, uncertain what you're going to get <laughs> right? because six of cups there are a lot of options a lot of possibilities here for how this might turn out um, and impact the feminine emotionally so even though they are manifesting this past life soulmate um it's it can be overwhelming because it's like i'm not sure what i'm going to get here but we know what they want we know what they want soulmate Twin flame soulmate. Yeah, this is pretty powerful. That is pretty powerful. <laughs> I'm just saying. That's not something we can even get our wires crossed about. So manifesting the soulmate, the past life soulmate, someone from the past little confused or overwhelmed not sure what's going to come of it temperance in the past self-control self-restraint right see patiently working on this ace of pentacles um temperance asks us to sort of read the energies of the room right R understand who you're dealing with um, balance and flow, get the flow between the two of you energetically and, and that requires self-restraint and control so that, you know, you kind of pull back and you observe and you exercise patience. And this is another card of alchemy, right? So see how the angel there is just taking the two chalices and bringing the energies into flow so that this gift of committed stability and abundance can show up. So there was some patience around it with an eye on the Ace of Pentacles, ships coming in. Another card of manifestation. This feminine wasn't kidding. Wow. Serious manifester here. I don't know who this feminine is. Um, I got Gemini and Virgo in the Magician. Sag in the Temperance. 
more Gemini over here. Capricorn could be dealing with a Gemini, could be dealing with a Sagittarian energy. Doesn't have to be, I'm just letting you know. And I see a lot of water in the mix too, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Yep, the love of my life, someone I would marry. Hierophant, committed conventional connection. Our faith, our beliefs, um, our belief systems, what we stand for, but it's definitely Taurus energy in this higher fan. It's definitely in the here and now, and it is um, usually a card of marriage or commitment. Yes, choosing that path. Examining the paths that lie before you, dear feminine, right now with the world of possibilities. What will you choose? Wanting this committed connection with the love of a lifetime, someone you've been manifesting. And I think they're coming back. Knight of Wands. Just let's, um, I want to comment on the Knight of Wands in a minute. Two of Pentacles. This is actually good because my comment was going to be the problem with the Knight of Wands is sometimes they're very impulsive. Sometimes they act on impulse, right? To satisfy their needs, get their needs met. And they don't always have a plan and therefore they don't always have staying power, which is a problem for this nine of pentacles it's a pattern for the nine of pentacles that person comes in and then they keep going right out the back door this feels a little different it feels like um either this knight of wands or the feminine is just going to be really weighing the options here like re like juggling realities on the ground uh weighing your priorities trying to figure out how to make it real and make it stay so whether that energy is coming from the Knight of Wands or the Knight of Wands shows up, Knight of Wands being this masculine and the feminine's like, like, yeah, we got to think this through. We got to figure out what we're really dealing with. What are we ready for in the here and now? So I like that. And then Nine of Cups, right? Wish fulfillment, um, emotional contentment. Underneath, we have a queen of pentacles. That is very definitely some um, feminine archetype of life partner. Someone who's very stable and grounded, has their you-know-what together. Um, very nurturing, though. And uh, think wife, life partner, someone who has your back. But what I really like about the queen of pentacles coming out here is that it's underneath is that it's also about self-care putting yourself first and taking care of your own needs. So regardless of whether this Knight of Wands comes in hot and heavy or not, I feel I'm looking at a feminine who's going to feel the joy in that, the happiness in that. Um, but they're not going to be impulsive. They're going to really weigh it all out and put themselves first and make sure they know what they're dealing with um so while it brings in some happiness and some it's a like feels like a wish fulfilled um they're going to take it in the right in the right order and structure to suit their own needs which i think is really important that's how we grow that's how we stop repeating patterns of the past okay all right dear capricorn if this is speaking your storyline i will take it to the extended the link is right in the top sentence or two below this video. It says click here for your um, um, streamable on demand extended. So that's the one off. And then the monthlies are below that. But uh, first card will be the situation. What are you two really dealing with that needs immediate attention? Or what's the big issue? And then the block, the challenge, or the dynamic between the two of you around that situation. And then what can you expect to come of it? Or what can you do about it? I will pull a card. What is this masculine trying to say to the feminine? What do they want the feminine to know? A message for, from the feminine to the masculine. What do they want the masculine to know? A card just for you, Capricorn, from your higher self, spirit of the universe. That card is one of my favorites. It kind of comes in sometimes as just confirmation of something. Um, sometimes it's a pep talk. 
right? And other times it's a warning, something to be on the lookout for, and then we'll pull the outcome card. If timing's a factor, it will show up there. Um, if it doesn't, I'll kind of read the energies. We've got a lot of wands here. It feels very fast moving to me. So I hope to see you in the extended Capricorn. Otherwise, have a wonderful day, and I'll see you on a future reading. Take care. Bye.